Hank, you still cooking tonight? Oh yeah, nothing like a cookout to wash away the taste of a standard synth paste ration. Any requests? Just make sure it's dead this time, okay? What, you didn't like the Grill Canyon eel? Maybe if it stopped moving. Yeah, that was kind of disgusting. I didn't ask for nobody medical. Hey, good day ladies and gentlemen, I am Caleb and real quick I want to talk about my initial impressions of Evolve just after this past weekend's closed beta. The aesthetic of Evolve is wonderful, in fact in my opinion it's the best that I've seen in a long time. From the dark, dank, swamp environments to the vibrant colors of blooming forests, you can really feel the game come to life through the use of CryEngine 3. The characters have a bleak, cartoonistic vibe and the monsters truly do feel terrifying, especially in the later stages of evolution. If you're looking for something to test your system and feed your hungry pixelated eye sockets, then Evolve is definitely worth checking out. However, with that said, no one game should ever be bought just on the promise of graphical fidelity alone. Watch dogs, I'm looking right at you. Instead, the core focus of purchases ought to be the gameplay and how well its systems play out. This is where Evolve gets tricky. While I believe Turtle Rock's Asymmetrical Monster Hunter Simulator 2015 does have great promise, the game tends to get old rather quickly. The best rounds come when you have a full team of hunters constantly communicating with each other while tracking down a mysterious monster that's lurking in the shadows ready to pounce on you at any moment. On paper, it sounds really good, but it fails miserably through poor matchmaking and team play. After playing through just three rounds, I felt as though I was living through deja vu. Even though the classes are quite varied and the characters all have their own unique feel, the formula was the exact same. You spawn, run to the monster, fight it, it escapes, you run back to the monster, it levels up, and either you die or you win. Rarely would the monster ever evolve to stage 3 and attack the objective. In fact, most of the time it would die immediately or within 5 minutes of playing. While I understand that most players are new to the game and, you know, they're not really familiar with all the systems, the game's poor matchmaking system makes everything more difficult through unbalanced lobbies by teaming up brand new players with higher leveled experienced players, most of whom have no mics to communicate with. In the short run after release, I'm sure the sheer amount of new players will lessen this problem and you'll most likely get a really tight-knit, somewhat balanced lobby. But what about two to three months down the line when most people have leveled up and there just simply isn't enough kitties in the pool for new arrivals to play with? This is where Evolve's core asymmetrical feature is at a flaw and begins to undermine everything that the game is built on, not to mention the DLC segregation. Those who pre-ordered the game were given exclusive rights to experience all playable monsters and characters during the beta. In fact, if you pre-order the game right now, you gain access to the Monster Expansion Pass, which grants players an additional playable monster, which the marketing team claims to be worth $15. Evolve is constantly screaming at gamers to feed the beast by cutting out what seems like core content and charging extra for it. Hell, the DLC was announced before the game was. It feels like 2K said, hey Turtle Rock, go make a really badass free-to-play game with a bunch of content so we can cut it up and sell it to people separately. Never should the DLC for a game outweigh the content included in the base product, but rather complement it with additional flavors. While Evolve is not quite on this level yet, we still don't know how much expansion content hasn't been revealed yet, which makes me cringe. I'm not saying Evolve is a bad game or even that you shouldn't play it, rather I'm just stating that what's on the table initially may be less than what you're bargaining for for a full price $60 AAA title in 2015 when gaming is bigger than ever. If early access and cutting up AAA titles is where the future of the games industry is going, I don't know if I want to keep being a part of that consumer basis. Much rather I'd prefer to pay full price for my product and get what I pay for. If you're still interested in picking up Evolve, I highly recommend waiting until after the game's initial release and picking it up on console or waiting for a sale on PC. That's it for this video. What do you guys think about Evolve? Is it worth the $60 price tag or should it be less? Do you guys agree with any of the points I made? Or do you think I should just go drink bleach and die for having a different opinion? You guys let me know what you think in the comments below and I will see you in the next one. Good job guys, good job.